गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू ट्रांस इंडिया रियल पीपल रियल इमोशंस वी कंटिन्यू आर इंटरक्शन दिस वीक विद जसवीर सिंह फ्रॉम इंस्टेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट सोल्यूशन जस्ट टू रिकैप जसवीर वॉज अ सक्सेसफुल बैंकर बिफोर ही डिसाइडेड टू क्विट द वाइट कॉलर जॉब टू गेट हिज हैंड इन द ट्रकिंग बिजनेस so let's hear it from jasveer on the company's expansion plans new initiatives and thoughts on procuring funding so jasveer we were talking about technology in the last interview with you and some time back you started xp india what is xp india all about and why xp india yes so uh, in 2019 uh, we were having a discussion me and uh, aman bhalla aman bhalla is the co-founder of xp india so me and aman we were having a discussion that okay we we know each other for quite long that uh, what is next what is next so the idea of xp uh, happened during that those discussions so xp india it's it's a tech logistics startup okay we are kind of uh, trying to automate the entire supply chain experience for our customers for the truckers and the for the drivers also so expedia is an uh, asset light uh, model wherein one side of it are customers another side of uh, xp is the truckers and obviously drivers are the backbone so we have launched a technology for truckers drivers and customers uh it's a unique uh, business model wherein we are trying to kind of provide fcl and lcl services from a single platform okay so we launched fcl uh, one year back so uh, entire the entire covid period we built the tech for instant and xp both uh we have a great tech in xp so uh, xp is more about uh, technology innovation transparency visibility and it is also about very deep into operation side so it is not a typical tech like google okay it's a tech uh, very heavy with the operations so it's a tech and operations if we club it together so just we who would be the typical clients of xp india and how would it benefit them so it's a b2b business model wherein all b2b companies are uh, our customers uh, just to give you uh, some insights we have already onboarded more than 250 customers in last uh, 18 months and xp is doing quite well so uh, it is let's say if you are a customer it if you are a b2b uh, company then uh, basically the xp uh, tech is allowing you to put the indent and our uh, you know uh, algorithm based uh, systems you know help you to find the uh, right truck for you okay so you can basically put an indent then there are auto uh, matching of your requirement okay then the truck is allocated to you then you can see the visibility like ola and uber okay and then the entire loading and the consignment notes typically those are also auto generated then the entire journey you have the live visibility of your cargo the loading and loading uh, inefficiencies are also being arrested so we can provide our customer the analysis of each of their loading and unloading points like what is typically i think you have raised this many times so to our customers we can tell them that if this uh, if for this particular facility your uh, loading time is this and your unloading time is this so basically we we are rating those loading and unloading facilities based on the their loading and unloading behavior and patterns okay and it's a, a great opportunity for the truckers so we have a unique truckers have wherein uh, they get the loads they can pick up the load uh, you know they uh, they can make choices they can take specific 
corridor basis loads and they can you know operate pan india basis so uh, what we are saying to our truckers is like uh, if you are a trucker then you need not to manage anything else but only your drivers okay so uh, the entire load uh, is being given by xp the entire uh, tracking or the performances or everything so typically uh, when we see in instant so it's like uh, we have to give reports to our customer the mis so we don't take any mis reports so because it's a tech platform so tech is uh, capable of doing everything on their own uh, and if, if i have to say what it can do it so uh, tech is it should minimize your resources so it is minimizing the resources so we are a very lean team in xp we are just 50 people and we have grown almost 3 4 folds in last one year i will not put the numbers but obviously uh, yeah so uh, xp is doing uh, great in last two years it has evolved like anything and we are still you know uh, what do you call that uh, Budding stage. Uh, yeah, bootstrapped. <laughs> we are still bootstrapped. Jesse, while your company is managing 14,000 kilometers a month with an average running of 15 to 16 days, others are struggling with 8,000 to 9,000 kilometers with the same number of running days. What can be done so that the trucks run for more number of days each month? thus eventually clocking more kilometers every month see uh, if you have to uh, so loading and unloading it's a very big pain if you see uh, in the larger frame if you see the larger b2b uh, business how they uh, how the businesses are happening into b2b space so typically you report your vehicle in the morning okay then your vehicle may get loaded by night or maybe the next day evening. So two days are lost. You reach somewhere and if it's a Saturday night, you know, vehicle will get in a good environment, it will get unloaded on Monday. And it in a not so great environment, it may take days also. So typically, uh, if I have to say, then your uh, 10 to 12 days are being lost in loading and unloading. So those are basically inefficiencies in our systems or maybe the in, in the uh, ecosystem. Okay. Uh, so why in e-commerce on the courier cargo, people are able to run 14,000, 15,000? Because those inefficiencies have been reduced a lot in those sectors. So in e-commerce, you go, you unload and you come back or you, you take another load and you come back. So loading and unloading hours are typically six to eight hours. In, in six to eight hours, you unload in six to eight hours, you load back. But even, even those scenarios, you know, uh, <coughs> a vehicle also needs to be maintained in a month. So typically, uh, you, you can say five to six percent or five to eight percent time of the month it also go into maintenance and the driver also need to visit their family so uh, he also need to go to home for one or two days but in even in the best case scenario <coughs> even in the best case scenario you will see that uh, 12,000 uh, sorry 20 days running is the max out because even in that case also you will uh, at least uh, have to give 10 days for your loading, unloading, maintenance, drivers, so everything. But if you are able to uh, you know, use your asset for 20 days, trust me you, are, uh, you can uh, run your vehicle 17, 18,000. We run few of, of our vehicles even 25,000 km in a month. Yeah. So we have uh, Volvos wherein uh, we just uh, I, I would not want to name the customer but uh, we have uh, volvos running uh, you know going from one place to another leaving the uh, trolley and uh, taking another trolley 
and going back. So the idle hour of uh, a truck is minimized to two hours. So it just, you know, going and coming, going and coming, going and coming. So on a corridor of like Mumbai to Kolkata, it can run 25, 26,000 kilometers or over Delhi to Bangalore. So we are running uh, even uh, 23, 24, 25,000 kilometers. Well, friends, recently the Prime Minister announced the national logistics policy. Although the framework of the policy is yet not very clear, one thing is for sure that the government is looking to improve efficiency and massively bring down the logistics cost in the country. So what are Jasveer's thoughts on the national logistics policy and what he feels needs to be added in the national logistics policy? We will continue our interaction with Jasveer Singh after this very short break. You are watching Trans India, real people, real emotions. School, बच्चों का दूसरा घर होता है और इस घर का ख्याल रखना एक प्रिंसिपल के लिए आसान नहीं पढ़ाई के साथ बच्चों का आराम उनकी सेफ्टी छोटी से छोटी चीज मेरी प्रायोरिटी है वैसे ही स्कूल बस चुनना भी एक बहुत बड़ा डिसीजन था पेरेंट्स का पीस ऑफ माइंड मैनेजमेंट का भरोसा और बजट साथ लिए चलना पड़ता है इसीलिए कभी कभी फर्म भी बनना पड़ता है आखिर कोई अपने बच्चों की जिम्मेदारी मुझे दे रहा है तो कोई बजट की लेकिन इतने सालों में एक चीज समझ आई है अगर सही डिसीजन ले तो सबसे ज्यादा प्यार भी प्रिंसिपल को ही मिलता है चुनिए महिंद्रा क्रूजर स्कूल बसेस यह है मजबूत ट्यूबलेस स्ट्रक्चर एंटी लॉक ब्रेकिंग एंटी रोल बा पैराबोलिक सस्पेंशन आईमैक्स वाइडर सीट्स और बेस्ट इन क्लास माइलेज के साथ बच्चों के लिए सेफ और बाकी सब के लिए सबसे स्मार्ट चॉइस महिंद्रा क्रूजियो स्कूल बस वेलकम बैक टू ट्रांस इंडिया रियल पीपल रियल इमोशंस वी आर इन कन्वर्सेशन विद जसवी सिंह फ्रॉम इंस्टेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट सोल्यूशन तो जसवी रिसेंटली द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अनाउंस द नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक्स पॉलिसी what are your thoughts on that so uh, the national logistics policy it is going to be very significant because the timing of this is unique so uh, one side of uh, india is trying to achieve a 5 trillion economy mark in next uh, i think 2 to 3 years and uh, the another side is that uh, the companies the corporates the manufacturing is moving to india okay so we are getting benefited by you know uh, china's outstar uh, because most of the uh, companies are not ready to work in china due to different reasons and those uh, corporates so lot of manufacturing is being shift to india and our infra is kind of i don't know uh, whether this was being built in that sense but yes we are at the right time so we have a ready ly available infra so uh, infra is there and uh, the vision of our uh, respected prime minister that is uh, you know very far sighted vision uh, so uh, though it is late uh, we we could have launched the national logistic policy uh, five years back but still uh, i think uh, as an industry we are all going to benefit it benefit from it because it is going to now once you have launched this policy so basically you will be able to uh, put the right processes into the picture now so the now the uh, emphasis is on the reducing the logistic cost from 14% to 8% though uh, i am not a good advocate of 14% logistic cost uh, but still that's a that's a number we have in hand so <clears throat> if you will have right policies 
लाइक सो लॉड ऑफ कार्गो विल बी शिफ्टेड टू ट्रेन ओके सो इफ यू सी द डेडिकेटेड फ्रेट कॉरिडोर्स आर बींग बिल्ड एंड दैट्स अ दैट्स अ गुड वे ऑफ डूइंग इट बिकॉज दैट्स द बैलेंसिंग एक्ट यू नीड टू एक्ट इवेंचुअली यू नीड टू डू द बैलेंसिंग एक्ट सो यस दिस नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक पॉलिसी इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अस इन अ बिग वे बट दैट बिग वे वील बी एबल टू सी मे बी आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स जस्ट वी टॉकिंग ऑफ रेलवेज How do you see railways impacting the share of road transport, and will instant transport solution also be using railways? Uh, so, uh, so people will may have a different take on this. So, my take is that <coughs> it is not going to take away anything from the transporters, from the trucking industry, or from the road transport, because uh, see the 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 kind of infra is being built in India. it is being built for a uh, to handle the larger capacities okay so now the 14% spend is on the gdp uh, G- of the gdp is on the uh, logistics and the economy is of 3.5 trillion so tomorrow if the economy doubles in less than next 10 years okay so obviously uh, your economy is going to grow you will have more business to do so there will be more business so what if that some percentage of that business goes to railway still you uh, so i don't think that there will be any kind of you know uh, losses or maybe some business will shift obviously shifting will be there but uh, i don't think that the transporters are going to lose on this game this is going to be beneficial see we we are a trucking company uh, if i have to talk from the instant then yes uh, so why would we use railways because we are a trucking company and we so instant is uh, basically it's not a transport company it's not a booking company it's a it's it, it is it is providing the trucking solutions to the customers so obviously for customers uh, they they might use railways but uh, because we are only a trucking company so we uh, might not uh, it it may not be a right question for instant but in xp certainly uh, we would explore those options also uh, so that depends then uh, what are the requirements just see what factors should the government include in the national logistics policy since this is so critical for the industry on the whole i think uh, government should bring customers into uh, the main frame of the national logistics policy and uh, see this uh, so we what what is the purpose of the national logistics policy it is more about basically uh, you increasing the utilization of the resources right once you are able to utilize your resources well so you'll be able to basically uh, reduce your logistics cost and one of the major uh, factor which is driving the you know logistic cost higher is that uh, the loading unloading it is like uh, it is in the bad state so the customers i i would not uh, you know uh would not want to talk more about this but customers basically they use your trucks as a warehouse okay so why can't a truck being you know uh, the a trunk a, a truck can be unloaded within hours of reaching w- what is stopping so a customer can obviously plan their uh, inventory in such a fashion that uh, once a truck reaches it can be unloaded within hours so it is going to increase the utilization of your assets uh so uh the transformity uh, or the basically uh, we we need to bring the loading and unloading charges on a single platform from the government uh, perspective or the, the the logistics policy perspective uh, if the government can bring customers onto a single platform wherein at least we can decide on the loading and unloading charges a uniform loading and unloading charges because eventually we can say that for a single xl vehicle let's say the loading charges are 3500 per day 
if if it is a if the detention is more than 24 hours then the customer will have to pay 3500 rupees but for a multi excel kind of vehicle it may be let's say 5000 rupees because you need to see that what is the fixed cost of your vehicle per day and if you are you haven't used that vehicle for a day it means you have lost the opportunity so there is a opportunity loss and then someone need to pay for it and obviously the user will have to pay because he he is at the receiving end he he should have unloaded the vehicle or he should have loaded the vehicle and because he did not do that then he should be ready to pay that amount and if the government is basically you know they 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 are able to lay down that uh, policy that okay, okay for a 20 feet the pen india loading and loading charges or the detention charges detention charges beyond 24 hours okay so it is in the same fashion and if you are able to uh, bring customers truckers everyone under one single ambit then i think it is going to help uh, us as a country to utilize our resources more and the logistic cost will eventually come down by doing this because then the customer will not think of using your vehicles as warehouses they will eventually unload your vehicle now they are not unloading it and keeping it detained because they know that i have to pay only 1000 bucks or maybe 1500 bucks so 1500 into 30 is what 45000 nowadays you have an emi of 70000 for a vehicle your fixed costs are close to 125000 for a vehicle so uh, I think the government should bring all customers under uh, the ambit of this uh, logistics policy and they should seriously engage with uh, the people, the customers and uh, there should be a uniform detention charges. Well friends, we have been saying for quite some time now that the government must consider getting the customers into the fold and having some provisions where the loading unloading time is regulated or else the customers should pay handsomely or rather decently for detention charges. But going forward, what are the future plans of Instant Transport Solution and XP India? We'll talk about this and how does the company plan to gather funds for the massive expansion plan that they have envisaged. We'll see you on the other side of this very short break. You are watching Trans India, real people, real emotions. School, बच्चों का दूसरा घर होता है, और इस घर का ख्याल रखना एक प्रिंसिपल के लिए आसान नहीं। पढ़ाई के साथ बच्चों का आराम, उनकी सेफ्टी, छोटी से छोटी चीज मेरी प्रायोरिटी है। वैसे ही स्कूल बस चुनना भी एक बहुत बड़ा डिसीजन था। पेरेंट्स का पीस ऑफ माइंड, मैनेजमेंट का भरोसा और बजट साथ लिए चलना पड़ता है। इसीलिए कभी-कभी फर्म भी बनना पड़ता है। आखिर कोई अपने बच्चों की जिम्मेदारी अगर सही डिसीजन लें तो सबसे ज्यादा प्यार भी प्रिंसिपल को ही मिलता है चुनिए महिंद्रा क्रूज स्कूल बसेस यह है मजबूत ट्यूबलेस स्ट्रक्चर एंटी लॉक ब्रेकिंग एंटी रोल बार पैराबोलिक सस्पेंशन आईमैक्स वाइडर सीट्स और बेस्ट इन क्लास माइलेज के साथ बच्चों के लिए सेफ और बाकी सब के लिए सबसे स्मार्ट चॉइस Mahindra Cruzio School Bus. Welcome back to Trans India. Real people, real emotions. We are in conversation with the banker turned transporter, Jasveer Singh from Instant Transport Solution and XP India. So Jasveer, how do you see the future of Instant and XP? Let's talk about Instant first. 
so instant uh, is going to remain in the tracking uh, segment so instant would be a tracking matlab instant uh, company for the next many years currently we are a organization which has grown almost 140 times in last 10 years from a 5 crore rupees company small company to a 700 crore group uh, this year uh, we see that uh, instant uh, by 2030 instant would be uh, having more than 3000 trucks serving more than 1000 customers running many uh, warehouses running electric vehicles you know having a wide setup pan india bases and uh, having a large family we have close to 3000 people right now so uh, i think we will have a 10000 people family in the coming years coming to xp xp has just started so we we have kind of this year we are going to close at 150 crore rupees of revenues in last two years we have grown from the scratch we started this 2020 january we started xp the idea started in 2019 and uh, so it is going to grow exponentially well if i have to tell you the vision of uh, xp india the vision of xp india uh, is to basically digitalize the entire uh, india and uh, to go to the world as well and xp would want to become a 10 billion dollar company by 2030 so that's the vision the vision for instant is to become a 1 billion dollar company by 2030 to become a most successful and trusted company in the people's mind so instant is all about people be it or you know people or maybe the customers so yeah so basically that that's the vision well just we such a huge growth would obviously mean you would be requiring a lot of funding how are you looking to source this funding what is the plan <laughs> so it is like uh it's a cash 22 question so you would want uh, me to answer each and everything uh yeah so uh, in instant we would uh, certainly be going public in next 2 to 3 years that's the idea about it so we want to share whatever journey we have uh, seen in last uh, 18 19 years now we want to share that journey with our shareholders we want to take it public and uh, obviously it's a it's a profitable organization instant is a great organization being built over the years uh, so we would want to share those profits with our shareholders obviously uh, uh, the vision we have it will require a lot of capital so i think uh, instant would go public for the capital and to share the profits profits with the public well friends that was the second part of our interaction with jasveer singh it was a delight listening to the journey of jasveer and presenting it to our viewers instant transport solution is no startup but a labor of hard work and dedication with a clear vision we hope that the journey of instant transport solution would be an inspiration to many in the industry We will be back again next week with another interesting story another interesting and inspiring journey please do remember to subscribe to our channel trans india real people real emotions see you again next week until then stay safe jai hind